Du, 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 boom, 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 boom. Okay, so this has happened. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? How's how's your day going? Um, yeah. So this has happened. I I I can't explain why all this has happened, but it's happened. Um, Basically, I have been neglecting these boxes. I've been working, I've been doing stuff, and I've actually opened them all, and I've filmed me opening them all. Just didn't get any further than that. So what I thought I'd do is I'd open all of them now, sort of compare. I've got at least two to three for each. I've definitely got three Junes and some Mays and things like that. So what I thought I'd do is open all the Mays, all the Junes, that kind of thing together, have a little comparison and then stick them all in a pile and stick my hands in there and, and see what I can make out of most of it. Some of it, no. Some of it, ooh. And some of it, yeah. So let's stick it all together and see what we get. So first off, we'll have a look at April. Now, to be honest, this palette full box, I don't know what month it comes from because the, the card's not in it anymore. They email it and I could go and look, but what, what will be the fun in that? So essentially I've only got two Aprils and I've got three for May and three for June. So, which are over there, ignore, ignore them. Just ignore, ignore, just ignore. So, I'll put it in with this lot. So we've got three, three, three to have a look at. I've look, I've, I've written on them and everything. Let's start with this one. This is the Art Snacks April box. So we've got a Tombow water brush, two Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen big brush in green gold and cobalt blue. And yeah, yeah, that's a that's a big brush, all right. We've got a Micron pin or PN archival ink, so it should last. Ignore the, the yellow paint, I've been doing something else. And two Faber-Castell Gold Faber Aqua uh, watercolour pencils in, well, 118 and 108. So that is our April uh, Art Snacks box. Next we've got our Scrawler box with, very pretty, this was uh, by Angelica Schult. There's all the information there. So that was our artwork in there. And I can't remember if this is the first time, first month they're doing this, but they're doing little magazines now. I'll just I'll flick, I'll just flick. With just information about the artist and a bit more detail on the supplies that we get. And a gallery at the end. Resume, yeah, that would have been from the month before. Mine isn't on there. What, what, a, what a surprise. <clears throat> so we got an A5 watercolour paper, eight sheets in 300 dcm cold pressed so the bumpy stuff it's almost quite similar in a way of pencils and marker type things these ones are watercolor markers so faber castell again in cadmium yellow and phthalo blue and that comes with a bullet tip and a brush tip there and there all right we've got three three big fellas look at them these are Faber Castell again. These are, what are these? A watercolour, because it's got a little paintbrush, look. In emerald green, deep scarlet, and walnut brown. We got a paintbrush and a Derwent uh, sketching pencil in HB. Yep, it's a, it's a pencil. So that is our scrawler box for April. And now, I th this might actually, might actually be April's, I honestly can't remember. But the pal the one palette full pack, these seem to be going missing so much. And you'll see in my other next video, or the video before this, I can't remember where I opened the latest one, the June one, I guess it was, where a lot of water damage. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having much luck with my post people, but there you go. We're not going to complain. So we got a Strathmore watercolour pad with 12 sheets. 140 or th oh is it 140 g it's that there and and that and and that we got you see i already opened it and looked a van gogh pocket box watercolor set these are all royal talons yeah royal talons and i didn't actually get as far to 
actually pull all the labelly bits off, but oh look, oh you can peel that off. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy that. That's the colours that we get. You also got one of these little dinky look like they're broken, but haha, -ha, no, they're not brushes, which, which are fine. I've got one other of these, and I find that it it can sort of come apart. So we'll see. It, it seems to pull apart a bit easier than I'd like. I've also got another paintbrush, a little little short fat thinny guy. There you go. Ooh. And they really want us to watercolour stuff. Some Strathmore watercolour postcards, which are, yep, they are like proper postcards and the bumpy kind. And you could post them if you dare. So that is our We're Gonna Pretend April palette full box. So side by side, you've got your art snacks, your school box and your palette full. Um, th this for me, it, it, I'm English, so... This is the only one I don't end up spending a fortune on posting and generally getting caught by customs. A lot. But this one is, I'll put the prices, I can't remember offhand up here. Uh, for me, this is just £15 because I don't pay the extra to have it shipped. So for me, definitely money-wise, this one. It's still also, I think, with however much it is to post to where you are, still the cheapest one. And I mean... You can get the Art Snacks Plus. I haven't actually gone for that just because I do all of this and huh, money. But I, I don't know. Similar amounts, but you obviously get a bit more because the scroller box. Box is that bigger. You can have paper. This one, generally you get way more. Bye. Bye, brushes. You get way more in a, um, a palette full. And it is the biggest physical box that you can get. I like these these are these um these are waterproof so this is this is india ink so these are india ink as opposed to some watercolor ones these are watercolor this seems to go together better because they're all watercolory but we'll have a go and we'll see what we like but there you go kind of april so this is the the three may boxes i've got an um Art snacks, school box, and a sketch box, which doesn't seem to, not as many people seem to do something on, on this, but I, I like, I do like the sketch boxes. Um, yeah, so this happened. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it sort of, it came, these two were, were down, it was sealed, but this was open and there's that oil dripped on it, but I, I think everything is in there. I'm pretty sure everything is in there. Huh. So, yeah. Interesting. Anyway, let's have a look at the art snacks first, and then the scroller box, and then the sketch box. So, in the art snacks, we got some King Art brush pens in four colours. They look like they match really well. Sort of a light purple, dark purple, a turquoisey blue, and a sedate pink, I'd call that. We got a graphics, uh, an aqua pen from graphics, um, bullet tip and brush. We always seem to get these. It's like they've got a job lot and they're trying to just slowly eke them out. Um, not my favourite thing. It seems to eat paper, but we shall see. We got a Copic Multiliner in black, 0 0.5, so quite a thick boy. We got a pencil that I cannot pronounce. It's a Tombow in Irogitan. Irogitan? I have actually got some of these. They come in really nice boxes. This one's in Tyria... Tyre and it's it's purple. It's a purple pencil. Just to show you, these are the boxes you you uh you can buy these pencils in. I think there's like three sets. They're really cute. They look like like little books. There you go. So they're actually I I like these pencils. I've used them before. I think I've got them in another another set. So there you go. We got a Higgins India ink brushy thing. And it was it was different. You have to pump it down, but this is not it's not brittle, but it it's quite boop movable. So it was like I had to sort of hold it and pump it because I was scared I was going to push down too much on on the uh, on the tip. But I have had a go, and this is very very black, very dense. So that is our May art snacks. Next is my heavily damaged scroller box. <laughs> you poor thing. 
So it's mainly charcoal, which I, I, I'm no, just no, I'm no good with it. We, we got these charcoal thing type things. We got a sepia light and a white pastel. They are dry. They're from Lyra and they have the word Rembrandt on them. Um, there you go. Also got, this is a, this is like a, a rubber basically. It, uh, yeah, so you do it and then this gets detail and it's got two, two ends and I don't know why. That's informative or what? Uh, we got another Lyra Rembrandt Splendor in white. Look, we got cute little cotton buds, eco cotton buds. Now th this is what I was concerned with. Oh, we've got a little little matching black sweet there. It's licorice or something. Yeah, not my thing. But this is what I was concerned about. Might have fallen out, but it's actually I think it's all in there. Charcoal blocks of varying sizes and shapes. Again, yeah, not very informative on this stuff. We've got a uh, Koi Noir charcoal pencil and a medium needed putty eraser. I know what that is. Oh, get your fingers in there, look at that. Oh, so difficult to get out, actually. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Now, this is grey. I like I like doing things on different, different types of paper. I may have a go. Um, <laughs> Charcoal scares me, but maybe it's eight sheets of 250 weight, so a bit thinner, but yeah, if I'd sort of do this kind of thing. Hmm, yes, yes, I see. It looks like I know what I'm doing, doesn't it? Vaguely, yeah. We have the May Scrawler Zine, which again has more information about the stuff, about the artist who did that which is amazing and I can't, is there's the information, Phoebe Cripps. There you go. That is my broken scrawler box for May. And now for the sketch box. We got a Neo Pico Line 3 black pen, an Ecoline brush pen, a watercolour brush pen in 422. Another Faber-Castell, a Faber-Castell watercolour marker in warm grey. And it's got a bullet tip and a brush tip. And to Daniel Smith Extra Fine Hand Poured Watercolour Half Pans in Hansate Yellow Light and Ultramarine Blue. And I found another one in Cascade Green, so there's three of those. A little paintbrush and an, an odd shape. 4x8 inch canvas watercolour board and there's the art for this uh, this month of May yep May and there's the information so for May we've got well we've got three quite different things we've got sort of well watercolour markery thing watercolour markery and watercolour paint and charcoal. So there's a you know three good three good boxes, quite similar in amount, I guess. Slightly less in your art snacks, but it is a much smaller box. So there you go, there's your May. And finally we've got June. We've got another art snacks, a scrawler box, and a, a really, really wobbly sketch box. It um yeah like that so let's have a look so in the art snacks we've got more well pastels five soft pastels half stick in greens and blues this is a creta color mega color again i've had this before and i quite like them it's huge in indigo an edding metallic pen in i'm assuming silver a zebra graphics mechanical pencil and a chamois leather, small size. For the scrawler box, which I haven't opened, let's have a quick look. We've got another magazine. The art for the month, which is by Alice Coles. Oh, hello Alice. Oh, I've seen her, there you go. A block of, I'm gonna look, it looks like watercolor paper, but there's a, uh, it's literally just a block with no cover, so I'll have to have a look what that is. 
the box. Oh, oh, there you go. Derwent ink tents. This is good, a jelly roll. My lads seem to have all um, dried up, so thank you very much. Another paintbrush and a, oh, a Karen Diash um, Prismalo, I assume, watercolour pencil in, well, black. And finally, the sketch box, the really wobbly sketch box. We've got the cutest little mixed media pad. Look at that. Thinky is that two liquid pencil paints? I have no idea. In yellow and blue, a lead holder, not a pencil. No, no, this is a lead holder. A graphite pocket set from Creta Color. Another paintbrush. A Lyra graphite huge pencil -y thing and another kneaded eraser. Here's the art for a very bent art for the sketchbox June. Nikolai Shaver. Right, so um the liquid pencil. Now time for something really interesting, if you say so. These are graphite and tint suspended in a binding agent. It behaves similarly to watercolours and dries to a matte graphite finish. It's rewettable, meaning you can rework parts of your pieces. And once dried, it can be erased a bit. Okay, this sounds interested in coloured as well. So, we got the art snacks, the squaller box, and the sketch box. This one looks interesting. I've not seen anything like this, so this is definitely new. It's, it's good to get something new in these things that you've not tried before. So I'm interested in this one, definitely. And this is adorable. These terrify me, but I like a jelly pen. And these terrify me as well. And I got a chamois leather. So out of these three, this one's drawing me. But again, quite similar in the amounts. So there's June. So this is what we've got. I've set it all out. I can't remember what's what. There's your there's your scrawler box there, your June one. I left all the cards. Um, yeah, so I'm going to attempt to use all of them <laughs> in one picture. Um, by the end of this, I, I may have failed completely or I may have succeeded in making a huge mess. But that's what I'm thinking. Um... Yeah, okay. I had actually um, swatched some of them out. And this this one was the, the April Scrawler box, which was these. And these actually go with water quite well. There's also these two here. So they work, they work really well with water, as do these pencils. These are the Faber-Castell. Yes, they are. So these, I liked this box. I was actually going to, I did a thumbnail and everything. I was going to uh, do that. But again, weird, weird times. This one are these. Uh, I don't know if it's this paper, but it doesn't look as nice as sort of smooth. It's got, got quite blotchy. So I'm not, not as, uh, not as pleased with those ones. This this is this and it's really i don't know if you can see on there but it's it's really black it goes really really nicely deeply black and goes on quite nice it's a bit weird this um it's not even a chisel it's just flat i thought a chisel was sort of but no but that's that's really really black and then these, these are the King Art. Um, and this is as best as I could do. Again, maybe it is the paper. It's, it's not very rough, not at all, but it's slight, got a slight something to it. But I don't know if mine are, are they supposed to look like that? I suppose if you were doing some interesting effects, then that would be quite good. But I was not, I remember not being very happy with these. And then just the... Um, May sketchbox, 
which was these. And I didn't open the pans, so I didn't um, didn't use them, but that looks quite well on the paper. And this obviously would go with those. So we've got that going for us. But um, yeah, that's as far as I got. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try a few things and see what I like. So the things I've actually been thinking about, because this is like the next day kind of thing, are these, because I've never tried them before. Out of everything, this is the thing that I've never tried. Pastels and charcoals once or twice, but I don't know what these are. So I'm going to have a go, and I actually need something through there, so give me a sec. Okay, um, so... Yeah, be careful when opening these things, because they go pew! But, um, should we do some finger painting, or, or hand painting? Ooh. This is the yellow. Um, I actually thought it was green when I opened it. I don't know if you can hear my dog settling. Have you settled? Are you happy? He's on the running machine. He sits there. He just sits there. Doesn't doesn't try to turn it on and run or anything. You, you can you can see there the graphite. Don't know if I like it. Let's have a go at the other one and see how much of a mess I can make with that. I, I want someone else to do this this subscription box so I can watch what they do. Let's <laughs> see how it dries. But that that's interesting. You can dilute it quite well. See how that dries as well. But um, there you go. That's your liquid pencil, re-wettable and all over me. So it's going well already. It's it's going well, definitely. Not. Are you ready for this? Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Always satisfying that. Right. What I thought I'd do is put down like, I guess, a wash of sort of sky type looking thing. Oh, it's, oh should we use this big one? Let's use this big one. Yeah. And then see what we can put on top of it and just start experimenting, see what happens. It's very, very simple and we'll let it dry. And we'll just try a few things on top of it because I, I think I'd like to do that, well, it's, it's going to be mixed media, really, isn't it? Let's just let's just face facts on that one. But I'd like to do different aspects. I'm thinking of doing something outdoors, foresty, with little creatures, and do with the, each of the creatures in a different way, in a different medium, with the background sort of, you know, woo, watercolory, and the maybe the charcoal using definitely these ones, the um. Uh, pastels for the foliage and different things and maybe some sort of more cartoony characters with these and just see what it looks like that's that's pretty much the theme of this let's see what it looks like shall we okay I don't know how to use pastels I bought I bought I have no idea what I'm doing can you put one of these on top of one of them Yeah, kind of vaguely. Cheeky. So these these will go on top. Changes the colour, but they will go on top. But the yellow won't. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you go, you got yourself a chameleon marker doing that. But, yeah, what about these ones? Because this is quite um, a natural kind of colour. Doesn't work well on this paper. So sort of bobbly. Is bobbly a technical term? I'm not sure. But, lifting things up. Oh, look. Pull it up. <laughs> the other thing is this huge graphite thing. A graph graphite pastel. Huh. 
Okay, so what, what do you do? And, and why do you do it? To be, if you say so. I mean, it looks like, yeah, pencil. Oh, it was a pastel. Again, we've got this really dark, really dark black, which I'm going to guess will go on the top of anything <laughs> and blot it out. Yeah, pretty much. You can also pull this down with some water and obviously you could use it to get some much lighter, more nuanced shades. So we've got that as well because it is, it's, it's India ink basically is what it is. And the pastel, yeah. let's, let's just muck about. Meep. I don't want to meep you. Shall I meep you? I won't meep you. No, this is dry. Can you... Oh, gold. Be careful of India ink. It doesn't have to take a while to dry. Can you re-wet this? A little bit. I wouldn't want to. But actually, do you know what? That's a much nicer colour. <laughs> the second time over. So I want to do, what do I want to do? Sort of foresty kind of, kind of thing with little fellas sort of just pointing their heads out here and there. Sort of more unrealistic plants maybe because that lets me off trying to make realistic ones. <laughs> so we could have sky and sort of a slushy background in green because we do have, well, we have the whole whole pack. And then we have these three as well. So I must remember to actually use these and open them, which seems a shame, but. So we could do that for the background. And then I'm thinking the charcoal and the um, pastels for this and then use the other things for the little guys. Whatever little guys I end up with. This is kind of what I'm thinking, a few little areas where little fellas can be sitting and sort of poking their heads around. Just being, you know, really kind of cute and, oh, what's going on here? Put a tummy on something, it looks adorable. Ignore that mess. We'll have a go at that, I'm gonna use I can't for the life of me remember, I got this in a box. The size of it, I'm going to guess it's a palette for one. But out of all of them, all the paper I've got, I think it's going to take everything the best. We're going to have a go on this and see what that looks like. Huh, bigger. Right, so how did I do? Well... It, it it was it was it was an interesting experiment. Should we should we put it that way? Um, yeah, no, shouldn't have done this. Um, it turns out okay actually. It just looks a bit higgledy piggledy and like I couldn't make my mind up, which is kind of true, I guess. Um, essentially, what I did, I did. It looks way more streaky now. I'm looking at it like on camera on my screen than it does in real life. It does not look less streaky. OK, and most of it's covered up anyway, so just, you know, bear with me. So I did the watercolour, uh, the sky and just just some green at the bottom just to, you know, have a background. Uh, let that dry. And then I, I, I went for it. So this bit of the foliage is done in the pastels and those intense uh, sticks, um, I figure out how to use them. And there's different ways of using them. Essentially, they are they're sticks of ink. Um, I actually do another picture later, just using well, them and, and the and the markers. But they're they're really interesting. I tried putting them on the paper. You can do that. Here we go. And then you can activate them uh, with water, or you can just use them kind of like pastels, like I'm kind of doing here. But again, I. 
I don't like pastels and I'm not very good with pastels. So yeah, I attack it with water later. Um, whether that helps or hinders, I don't really know, but I try my best. I pretty much use everything or I didn't use every single watercolour in the little palette that I got, but I used some from the palette. And I used the other three watercolours, and I use most of the, you can just see the Creta colour uh, blocks there. Um, so I used at least something from everything, if that makes sense. So whether that was a good idea or not, probably not. Um, this little blue guy, this little blue guy, I tried to give him a little cheeky red bottom and it spread. It just spread. Um, you see a, a close up of it later on. It just, it looks like he's got a little furry bottom, which I'm not that sad about. I am not that upset about his little furry bottom. So there you go. Th there's something that happened. My little guy got a furry little bottom. But anyway, here I, I completely missed doing the little branch that this little, other little fella is sitting on. But I go back, I go back, and I'm using the watercolour, I'm using it in different ways. The um, Eco Line uh, one there, and the Faber Castell watercolour things, and I'm using them on the paper, which works well, and then you can dilute them down. Um, I'm also using it, putting uh, the paintbrush straight onto the nib to get to sort of pick up some of the ink I'm also using it in a, a little palette you know just rubbing it into the palette and then using that very much just like um like paint so I tried different ways of using them uh there's the black uh, India ink there just a sort of really dark area and that whole area will be done in like the the blacks and stuff of the charcoal which hmm yeah not my thing again but hey come on I tried You've got to give me that. And I did what I said I was going to do. I don't know where I've gone, but I've, I've come back. But I did what I said I was going to do. I said I'd use pretty much everything. And, and boy, did I. Um, here I'm using the charcoal, I think, uh, Lyra white uh, pencil, charcoal pencil. That worked quite well for giving little um, highlights here and there because the jelly roll... I've, I love the jelly rolls, but they done half clog up quickly. That's a, that's a, a trouble I, I have with them. So I had to be careful using that on any of the pastels or anything like that, because it would just pick it up. But oh, anyway, um, I did a tree type thing. It's kind of a tree. I'm just uh, colouring it in, going over with some water with the little paintbrush that we got there. Yep. Oh, by the way, there were three pencils. I think I pointed that out earlier on, but there was also this little grabby thing where you push the end of the pencil and a grabber comes out and then you put the, the lead in there. That's quite interesting. I had fun playing with that. Um, but yeah, so three pencils over nine boxes. Eh, not bad. Yeah, anyway, uh, back to the tree, the mess that is the tree. I, I need more practice with this kind of thing, I think, definitely. Um, I like watercolours, uh, alcohol markers, that kind of thing, the pastels and the charcoals. I've had various success with. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not sold. But I tried, and now I'm trying to do sort of this multicoloured tree, just basically so I can use everything. And what I'm doing, I've got everything up to my left, and then when I use it, I throw it to my right, and sometimes pick things back up from the right to reuse and things. And it it it, it was a mess by the end of it. I think I show you, I filmed my desk at the end of this, and it's just stuff everywhere. Um, a little side note, while, while this is going on, we're watching uh, Star Trek Next Generation. So I cut out obviously the sound, but if you go through the sound, there's various episodes and me talking with my kid and just being very silly. So thank goodness I cut all that out. This was actually, um, before editing stuff down, before speeding this up, I mean I sped this up to as much 
as I could because it was th just over three and a half hours long when I put it all together. Um, I don't think that's too bad, but that, that's yeah. I don't I don't think uploading a three hour video would work really. So yeah, I've really tried to speed this speed this up. Um, anyway, here's me with the watercolor markers. I don't I. I prefer alcohol. I don't personally see why you would use watercolour markers when you can use alcohol. I like the Ecoline ones. I've actually got more of these. I've got loads of these things. I really like them. I just don't know what I'm doing with them. So I'm, I'm trying to pick up some from the, um, from the nib. I also, by doing that, splattered it with red which I covered over, but still interesting if you want that to happen. But um, yeah, moving on, here is the, the liquid pencil, which I really like, but I do not understand. I don't understand what's going on with this. But um, I, I've recently got the scrawler box. I believe it's the August scrawler box. And it's got more of these in. I have, I've cheekily opened it. Hold my hands up. Okay, I've cheekily opened it and had a cheeky little look in, in their magazine. And it's more of these things. Different make. I think they're Derwent. I think so. So, yeah, we, we've got more of trying with them coming up. They look, they look weird. It does look like pencil, but squashed around pencil. So, there's that. Yeah, anyway, I was trying to make this corner, this right-hand corner, I guess more dark and like this little guy's hiding and the other side is more colourful. I don't quite know why, but I had to use those really dark um, charcoals in here somewhere, so I figured we could do that. That that would be good, wouldn't it? So we've got a little sad fella uh, just sticking his head out here. That's supposed to be his nose, by the way. Um, not necessarily a frown, but at the moment it kind of looks like a little frown. But it's supposed to be his nose. Anyway, so I made him yellow because the one on the left hand side was yellow and I'm, I'm trying to tie in the colours. That's what I hear from like actual artists all the time. I'm just tying it in and, and you know, pulling from this side and lots of other posh things I, I don't really understand. But, you know, the red on both side and there's blue on both side and the yellow guy on both side. So there you go. I, I tried. Um, what on earth am I using now? I think I'm back to the pencil, the liquid pencil, which they're very muddy and the yellow does not look yellow. Oh, actually, was that, was that yellow there? Because that looks yellow. Or am I using something else? I think I'm using the marker in amongst this as well. Yeah. And the ink tents as well, yes, that's it. I use the ink tents um, things here just to give it a bit more something because the pencil, it, it, there wasn't much difference I saw between the blue and the yellow, and the yellow did look green, and a very muddy green, so there's that. But anyway, this is, I'm almost finishing with this. I'll show you just a couple of seconds of um, close-up, I guess, and then the state of my my desk but there you go I used the silver I got the silver in there somewhere it doesn't necessarily look right but I, I got the silver in there and a little little bit more of the that brown pencil but there you go this is this is what I came up with and a little close-up of it there's this little little hairy bottom there oh bless him and a few specks where the, the red went but yes little fellas as I, 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 I as I promised and yeah, here's my desk. I have now tidied it, but this was the state I was left in. Um, so yeah, fun. Open nine all at once. It's great. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is another one I did because I wanted to try these ink tents and I did three others, but this video is just way too long. Is anybody there? Uh, comment down below if you're still here. Thank you if you are. But I, I wanted to try them again. Um, just to try and get the hang of them and I'm, I still haven't. I thought I'll just do it a, a flat colour and then I thought no I want to shade and I shouldn't have tried to shade. But you've got three little fellas. I don't know why I'm calling them little fellas. They're just like little 
little little guys, little things. Um, uh, front side and bottom view. So I do one in each colour. I like these. I do like these. They are solid ink. Uh, that that's what they are, and you can you can tell it's ink when you put it down. Little shade under the bottom there. Very important. Um, but yeah, that they really were very interesting. You can you can rub them onto the paper and then ink them, or you can just as I'm doing here, just take it straight from the block. Interesting. Um, I like them. I, I'm going to use them again and see if I can get good at them. Um, but oh, I think actually I use. Do I use something else here? I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, I think I was practicing to see if it was going to seep through this paper. Um, it didn't. So yeah, there you go. I'm practicing. See, I practice at things. So yeah, the first one is the ink tense. This is the eco line, and I think the last one I do with the Faber Castell uh, water marker. So I think that's what I end up doing. I only did this a couple of days ago. You'd think I could remember, but um, yeah, th this. I, I really like the eco line things, but I've always found they rip up the paper. I don't. I've used different kinds of paper because you know it's one of those things you get in these boxes. So I've tried them before, but after one, just one zhoosh over the paper, you go over again and it starts ripping it up. I, I don't know if there's you know some other way of doing it, but I was fine with markers. You either use them as markers or you might as well have just had a, a paint pen. You know, what's the point of having a marker if you're not going to use it as a marker? If you're just going to, you know, scribble it into your palette and use it like paint, you might as well have just had paint. But anyway, so th this is this last one is the Faber-Castell thing. And, yeah, and, and the other one using for shading. It's not quite right, but it's what I had. So I like these little guys. I shall have to name them. But anyway, we're coming to the end of that. Thank you very much if you've watched all this. You are awesome. Um, you might as well give it a like and a subscribe and all that business. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.